For those of you that do not know, here is the technology behind the 6D helmet. So inside, this is your outer shell, so inside the outer shell, you have little shock absorber pads. And uh, they're all, all around here, right? And then you've got the inner shell, the padding, then your head. Uh, so the idea here is when you crash, you fall off your bike, ATV, whatever it is, your head hits the ground, it never hits it directly at a 90 degree angle straight down or sideways or whatever. It's not a 90 degree angle. It'll hit and roll just the shape of your round helmet hitting the ground, which is probably not flat. There's uh, some movement there. That's where you get a lot of your spinal injuries. Uh, your brain, obviously, you hit the ground, it's still moving, it can rotate in your skull. Sounds absolutely terrible, that's what happens. So the idea is these, uh, this layer of shock absorbers in here uh, take that rotating impact and absorb it. So the outside of this shell will hit, move just the way that it would. Uh, the shock absorbers will take the brunt of that twisting motion and uh, the rest of the helmet from there in all the way into your brain will, uh, will move less than if you didn't have that technology behind it. There's other helmets out there that have similar uh, technology. Fly Racing has got MIPS. There's a couple other that have uh, that type of layer to it. Uh, but 6D is definitely the, uh, the first one out there that had it. They've got a lot of research behind it. That's what makes the 6D helmet worth every penny of that almost $700.